We'll do it, we'll do it. Ladies and gentlemen, that for us was the Esha Rao Showcase at Lakme Fashion Week in partnership with FTCI. We have with us Esha Rao and her beautiful muse, Tara Sataria. Congratulations to Esha and, and to Tara. Thank you for coming and choosing Lakme Fashion Week and FTCI to be the event where you showcase your beautiful work. We're honored. Um, Esha, just to begin with you, tell us what it was like putting this collection together. What was the thought process? and the experience of finally being on ground. Right, so uh, the collection is called Trenka Dish. Uh, it, it's, it's a folk art that uses bits and pieces of ceramic that come together to form like a jigsaw pa uh, like pattern. And um, I think I was always inspired from the days of my college because I studied there in Barcelona. I studied design there. Um, and if you see the city, it's literally like they've embellished each building. Uh, it, it looks like a big yeah. collection of clothes, and I've always wanted to translate that into the garments. And uh, yeah, it, it came through this time um, because I, I've gone to Barcelona for a chance meeting, and I said, this, this is it. I have to make a collection out of it. And I hope it translated on stage. And how did choosing Tara as your showstopper, your muse, how did that come about? So uh, I've always uh, designed keeping millennial sensibilities in mind, and she is one, so am I. <laughs> and uh, uh, and she also comes from this artistic background. I mean, her sister does ballet and she does jazz. And so I felt, and we, you know, we wanted somebody who embodied that elegance and grace, and she was the perfect fit. Awesome, awesome. Tara, I think uh, we remember a couple of seasons ago, it was your first walk at Lakme Fashion yes. Week, and you're soon becoming a veteran here. Um, what was it like walking for Esha, collaborating with her, and being here? It was wonderful. This is our first collaboration together, and I and I hope the start of many many um, to come. Uh, I loved hearing Aisha's story about, like she already said, she she studied in Barcelona, and it's inspired by art and architecture and things like that. And those are two things that that you know are very close to home for me. My family's been um, associated with architecture for, gosh, four generations now, and they built most of Bombay. So for me, anything that is associated with the likes of art, architecture, creativity, style, elegance, which is, I think, all of uh, the words that describe Aisha's collection, um, make me very happy. So I'm very, very happy to be, like you said, back <laughs> at Lakme Fashion Week. Um, it was a first for me a few years ago, and I'm so happy that I get to continue to walk here at Fashion Week. It's something I've looked up to since I was a little girl. So it's very exciting for me. We're very happy to have you. Esha, maybe you can walk us through the outfit that you've put together for Tara, the whale. There's so much happening. Yeah. Uh, maybe everybody could just have a quick decode of it. So I primarily, my signature lies in FDK. You know, I use a lot of the, the tailoring waste uh, that comes with making a collection into the lenga. So uh, this particular lenga has taken details from different buildings. This is Casa Amatier, which is next to Batio in Pase de Gracia on, in Barcelona. This is Casa Sairac, uh, the motives that Gaudi uses. You know, he uses a lot of eerie motives uh, because if you see his buildings, you know, there's, there's ribs, there's, yeah. uh, there's a lot of that happening. And there's a lot, it's a lot to take in. You know, as, as a city in Barcelona, you go from balcony to balcony, there's a lot happening. And there's Art Deco, Art Nouveau, um, and, and the color, they use ceramic, but it is uh, madness. But there is a method to the madness, so that's what we've tried to do, create some sort of a method to the madness. And it was perfect for us because we do all of that. We do color, we do uh, applique, we use a lot of fabric. So this, you know, you see this print on the, on the other models in the collection, and we've used this on Tara's. You know, so it truly is one of those, you know, beauty and uh, it, it's not mutually exclusive. You can right. make something beautiful that's also sustainable and wearable. So if it's made from waste, even better. I mean, that's the millennial sensibilities that I'm talking about. That today you want to wear something that is carbon neutral or Correct. less on carbon footprint. And I hope that's that's that. All of this is applique and it's, it's hand done. It's laborious man hours that has gone into it. And I hope, uh, <laughs> you know, we've done justice to the whole concept. So being fashionably conscious, that's Esha Ra for you. All right, thank you, everybody. I'm going to open the floor to a question or two, if any. Yeah? yeah? OK. It's, uh, it's called Trenkadish. It's, it is a kind of folk art that uses bits and pieces of mosaics that you know that are brought together to create patterns and jigsaw-like patterns, not irregular patterns. 
but they're all made from ceramic waste again. So it, it embodies, it's, it translates into something really beautiful, which is what we do at, at our workshops and our ateliers. We take something from waste and we make it look, put, put together uh, all the waste to make it look beautiful. And that's what I think, that's why I named it that, because it, it was perfect for my collection. I get to show a little bit of my shoulders. I think it's very elegant. It's something very old-fashioned. I love the colors, and um, I absolutely adore black as much as I adore white. So, and I, I don't wear very much when I've worked at Fashion Week before. I've, I've never really uh, done a black lehenga, so it's really special. It's unique. I love that she says it's using uh, waste in such a beautiful and effective way. That's so important for our generation to just be a part of that. And I think Aisha's doing that so beautifully, along with wonderful other designers as well. But it's great to be at Lakme Fashion Week again and to walk, walk with uh, Aisha. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we have, you know, so because we have Fashion Week taking place in Bombay and Delhi, we have a couple of a media who couldn't come here to Bombay. So we have some questions here, and we'll take that, and then we can wrap this.